What's up guys? Welcome back to Zim Survives. We're back in the beautiful world of Ark again. My community and I are actually going to start on the island and play through all the maps in order. Beating all the bosses and doing everything we want on each map before we progress to the next one. And you guys can join us too if you want. Just hit that Discord link in the description below and we'll get you into our awesome servers. We're going to be posting more tips and tricks and fun videos for you of course. And today we're going to actually go over all the stats and what they actually mean for you. I'm also going to help you prioritize which ones are the most important. But before I do this, remember to hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoy this video and comment down below what stat you think is the most important to you. Now sit tight, relax, and let's survive together. Now, when you're starting off Ark for the first time, some of these stats might be a little confusing, and a lot of them aren't even explained. So let's break down what these stats really mean for you and your character, because knowing more about your stats will help you survive a little bit longer. So the first one we're going to look at is health, and that's your current life value for your character. If your health drops below 30 HP, your character will become injured and you'll move slower. You can regenerate your health by consuming cooked food, by consuming blood packs, by consuming medical brews, and also naturally over time your health will slowly regenerate as long as your bones aren't broken your health can be lowered by being attacked from drowning from falling from extreme temperatures from starvation or dehydration keeping that health up is probably the most important thing of art you can't win if you're not surviving Now next is stamina, and it represents how much energy you actually have. And actions that use your stamina is running, jumping, swimming, harvesting, and attacking. And will cause your food and water to drop faster. You can actually gain stamina faster by laying down. And the last thing you want to do is run out of stamina in the water, or you'll be sleeping with the fishes. Now speaking of water, oxygen is the next stat. Oxygen affects how long you can actually hold your breath underwater. And it also affects your swimming speed. If you lose all your oxygen, you'll start to suffocate and lose your health. So make sure you have enough stamina and you swim up to the surface. Now the next stat is food. Food represents your hunger level, and it slowly goes down, and it goes down faster when you're using stamina. And when food runs out, you start to lose health and build up torpor that'll make you pass out. Food can be restored by eating berries, meat, eggs, and vegetables. And when you're really cold, food will actually drop faster. So make sure you're always carrying cooked meat or jerky at all times. The next stat is water, and it represents how hydrated your character is. And just like food, when you start to run out, you start losing health and building torpor that'll make you pass out as well. You can restore water by drinking any water in the game, by submerging your character in water, or even using a water skin, a water jar, or a canteen. And when it's raining, you automatically get water, and you can actually fill up your water jar when it's raining as well. And when your character gets really warm, water will actually drop faster. The next stat is weight, which is super important. It represents how much items you can actually carry on your person. Most items in the game have a carry weight. And once your carry weight is equal to or greater than 85, you'll be overcumbered, which will make you slower and unable to jump. Carrying a lot of weight is important in the game, so you can see how important that stat really is to you. The more items you can carry, the better prepared you'll be. Next stat is melee. Melee damage represents how much damage you'll do with your fist, tools, or weapons, and harvest resources with fewer hits. It also increases the amount of resources you will get per hit, and also improves the chances of rarer materials to drop. And it's important to know that it doesn't actually affect the damage of your ranged weapons, such as bows, guns, or thrown spears. The next stat is movement speed, and that represents how fast your character can actually run. Higher movement speeds means you could run faster and consume less stamina. But remember, when you're overcumbered by weight, it also slows you down. I find movement speed super important in survival games as well. And the next stat is crafting speed, and this represents how fast your character can actually craft items. It also affects the bonuses you get for crafting blueprints and cooking specific foods. So this makes crafting items so much quicker and faster. And the next stat is Fortitude, which represents your character's resistance to disease, torpor, and weather. Raising your Fortitude will help you in extreme heats and extreme colds. And it'll also help you with torpor resistance so you don't get knocked out as easy. Fortitude is so important to survive the elements on most of the maps on Ark. 
And lastly is Torpor, which represents the character's consciousness level. If your character reaches 50 Torpor, they will become unconscious. Some enemies in the game will actually add Torpor to your character, and you can actually decrease your Torpor by eating Stimberries or Stimulant. Now that we fully explained the stats of your character, let's go over which ones are the most important for you. Now in my opinion, health, weight, and movement speed is by far the most important. I always make sure my movement speed is up first, and then I'll increase my health, and put a little bit in stamina just so it's not so low. I'll dump a lot of points in weight so we can carry all that fun stuff, and I actually won't put any points in melee because we end up using ranged weapons and dinos anyway. And of course I put a lot of points in movement speed. And you'll notice I have a 1100 crafting skill. That's because of our server settings that we allow it to be so high for quality of life. And of course I put a couple points into fortitude just so you can survive the elements. So the heat's not so hot and the cold's not so cold. And of course I'm going to put a couple points into oxygen just so we can swim a little bit faster. And that's all the stats for ARK. I hope you guys enjoyed. We're live every day on Twitch and check us out on the server if you want to play with us. Remember to like and subscribe if you found this helpful and comment down below what stats you you think are the most important to you. Thank you again and let's survive together.